everyone, Morgan Hibbs here with Lynn County Firm Bureau. I am sad to not be visiting your classroom in person this year, but I am looking forward to the opportunity to visit your classroom virtually. Each month we will look at a new topic related to ag, this month beginning with the intro to ag, and we have a fun story for you called So You Want to Grow a Pizza. Now we do have a read-along video separate from this video. Uh, if you have not listened to that, I encourage you to pause this video, go listen to the book, come back and resume play. Let's review. So you want to grow a pizza. How many of you like pizza? I like pizza. I love pizza. I love how you can enjoy pizza at all times of the day. There's breakfast pizza where you can have eggs and bacon on top. There's pizza that you can have for lunch. I love Canadian bacon and pineapple. You can have pizza for dinner. You can have taco pizza, cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza. Maybe you like supreme pizza with beef and, and pork and uh, maybe some veggies on top. There's also dessert pizza and fruit pizza where you can have apples on top or you can have cinnamon or frosting. So since so many of us enjoy pizza, we should talk about where the ingredients come from. Now the word ingredient might be new to you. An ingredient is one of the different foods that go into a recipe to create our favorite meals, like pizza. So for example, a pizza ingredient would be the tomatoes. It might be the pepperoni, cheese, or for our crust it could be wheat. So as we read our story, we learned about where the different ingredients come from. Now you can't grow a whole pizza by yourself, but it goes through and it talks about how the different ingredients come from a farm. So if we go to the beginning, one of the first ingredients it talks about is wheat. That comes from a wheat field or a wheat farm, which is a plant. Next we look at cheese. Cheese comes from dairy cows. They are both dairy cows and beef cows. Dairy cows specialize in giving us milk to make cheese, ice cream, yogurt. Then there are also beef cows that specialize in giving us meats like hamburger and steak. For our cheese, we need dairy cows. That is an animal. Next, we look at pork or pepperoni and that comes from pigs. Uh-oh, unless you live on a farm, you might be running out of space. So then in our story, we learned that we were going to build or grow the sauce. The sauce has different ingredients in it, including tomatoes, garlic, which helps to add a spice to our pizza, and oregano. Can you say oregano? Oregano is a plant that adds flavor to our pizza sauce. Pretty soon we have all of the ingredients to make our pizza sauce. So then, once you've read the story and you've listened to this video, you can go ahead and download the activities from our websites, the different worksheets and crafts, or if you have a kit, then you can uh, go ahead and get started on the craft uh, and all of the worksheets. So the first thing is our pizza craft. It comes in a Ziploc bag if you have the kit and inside there's a plate with all of the different ingredients that we learned from our story to glue to the plate. So first you can color the plate the color of wheat which was kind of a tannish yellow golden color. You can color it brown as well. So go ahead and color the paper plate brown or a tan. And then if you want to color some sauce on top, you can. You can also go ahead and glue your pizza sauce jar to your plate, your cheese, and your pepperoni. As a review, you can go ahead and match with our matching sheet here a line from the pizza ingredient to the sauce that it came from. So we have pizza sauce, crust, pepperoni, and cheese. Draw a line connecting the ingredient to the sauce and where it came from. 
And last, teachers, you can send home a pepperoni pizza snack with your students. And students, when you go home, you can show this recipe to your parents, which is a list of steps with ingredients of how to make your pepperoni pizza snack. So let's review. First, we have crackers. Now, crackers are not the same as our crust, but they are made with the same ingredient, which is wheat. And wheat, is that a plant or an animal? A plant. Next, we have pizza sauce. What were the different ingredients in our pizza sauce? Tomatoes. And bonus points if you can remember the other two. Garlic and oregano. Next, we can top it with pepperoni. From our story, where did pepperoni come from? Pigs. Good job. Next, we are going to sprinkle cheese on top. Where did our cheese come from? If you say cow, you are half right. What kind of cow? A dairy cow. Good job. And last, you can take a bite and enjoy your pizza. So I encourage you to take this recipe home, show your family members, and build your own pizza snack to enjoy after school. I look forward to next month and continuing to learn about agriculture and where our favorite foods and products come from. Thank you for watching.